What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Hoffixie and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time to jump back into my restaurant because today we are going to spend some serious cash and we are going to go and check out the castle skin which you can buy for 4 million dollars um so yeah i've got a bunch of other stuff to talk about as well a few things to show you i thought we would also do like a little restaurant tour just in case you're a little bit later on in the series you may have not seen some of the other floors that we've already designed and yeah we're just gonna have a nice chill time here playing my restaurant so welcome back hopefully you guys and girls are doing amazing as you can see we currently have the future theme on our restaurant now, I really, really like the future theme, especially from the inside. I like, I wasn't too sure. Ooh, a celebrity. <laughs> oh yeah, side note, I don't know what's changed in the game. Maybe not even like anything, but I've literally had like such a boost of celebrities coming. Like literally over today, a celebrity just walked out and then another celebrity has just walked in, which is kind of nuts. I don't know what I've done differently. Um, but yeah, I've had like a bunch more celebrities, which is really, really nice. And I've not even bought any more gem cabinets from the last time that I bought them. I think I've got 14 right now. So the inside of the future looks really, really nice. But I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, why don't we go and check out the castle one? Because it's 4 million. I've saved up enough coins to actually go and get it. And I thought it would be kind of cool to check it out and see what it looks like on our restaurant. Ooh. So just a side note here. Uh, last episode, we actually checked out the update when it came out. And the latest introduction here of these wishing wells, in my opinion, they are like one of the best things that they have added to the game so far. Um, so this gold wishing well here is the Robux, the premium one. However, there is also a free one, which is $77,777 lucky number sevens and um yeah it's it's really good <laughs> like i love the wishing well so unfortunately you can only actually have one of each in your restaurant and this one recharges in five hours and then the golden one recharges every hour so i've just been hitting these a few times this one's actually due so three two one boom fifty thousand cash very very nice but i actually really really love when you get the boosts from these wells so you can get boost from the free one as well but for example if we go and open up our like robux boosty thing uh, i've currently got an advertising campaign running here but i've had free boosts for profits i've had free boosts of super stoves i've had free boosts of advertising campaigns uh, and all of those are just from using the wishing well so it's kind of mad actually because <laughs> Technically, right? This Robux item, this 800 Robux Golden Wishing Well is so, so good. And yet, the money tree, which was in the original game when it first got released, this thing sucks. <laughs> like, this thing sucks. It's 700 Robux and it's rubbish. I don't know why. So, like, I feel like they need to maybe change the magic money tree a little bit. I feel like they should try and do a model similar to the Wishing Well because the Wishing Well is so useful gives you either really really nice amounts of cash or it gives you those boosts and I think the boosts are some of the best things to get but then you've got this bad boy who isn't actually a bad boy he's rubbish I wish I could have a second well instead of you <laughs> it looks cool though but I don't think it's worth it I think if you had to pick one of them I'd always go with the wishing well so much better oh yeah so uh, just a couple more things here as well I have been slowly expanding my restaurant so you know, it's kind of funny, actually, like, with any type of game on Roblox, anytime, like, um, anytime there's, like, a leaderboard or anything, there's always, like, a super competitive aspect to sort of a group of players. Um, for me, like, with Roblox games, and especially games like this, I don't really see them as a competitive thing. I really enjoy, like, jumping in and just trying to design stuff and just, I see them more as chill games. Um, but there is, like, a competitive side to my restaurant. <laughs> and uh, I went on the... Um, the uh, the big games discord earlier today and i saw like people had made these like custom floor plans to like enhance your restaurant capabilities and maximum yields for different floors and you have to have like a certain thing in a certain place and i was like oh jeez <laughs> i just want to make it look pretty man but yeah fair play like uh, people work this stuff out so quickly it's like beast swarm really people work this stuff out and i saw like these ones where you can literally have a restaurant with one single floor and because you've just got like the one single floor where everything is happening you can have like a really really good return for like your money and stuff it's kind of mad 
Maybe one day we'll try one of those floors. Who knows? But I'm really happy with what we've got right now. And I actually went and bought floors number seven and number eight, both with in-game money. Um, and yeah, check this out. Boom. Floor number seven. It's, uh, it's, it, it's nothing in here. It's a junk floor, basically. We're going to design this when some new items come out. And we also have floor number eight, which is also another junk floor. So I was kind of reading that apparently the more floors you have, the more increase of customers you actually get coming into your restaurant, which is why I thought, you know what, whilst we're grinding up and we're trying to get some of these custom skins, uh, it might just be worth grabbing a few more floors, which is why I grabbed those two, but I don't think I'm going to design them properly until we've got some new items to use in the shop. Uh, so, oh yeah, also check this out. So this is where I'm up to right now. Uh, I've got like one more level here to get all the chefs, but as you can see, I haven't even hired all the chefs yet. I just don't need them right now. Uh, I've got a bunch of waiters, but I've still got a few more to unlock, but I think it's kind of a case of, we'll, we'll hire them when we need them, you know? Anyway, should we, uh, should we buy this castle theme? Oh my goodness. I feel like I actually, you know what? I kind of want to buy this golden tip jar as well. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's buy this. It's the only like Robuxy thing that I haven't got, which is like a little one. So we might as well grab it. Boom. And here we go. For anyone who was wondering what the castle theme is going to look like on a restaurant, we're going to go and grab it. Okay, you guys ready? Four million for the castle themed restaurant. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, boom. Yes, I think it worked. I think it worked. Okay, so we can actually swap between the two. Uh, all we need to do is just click on these and oh, look. So when you swap between the two, it actually changes like the, um, the color underneath. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, let's check this out. So I've actually not seen this just yet. Believe it or not, I have no idea what the castle looks like on a restaurant. I was saving up for the shrine, but I thought, you know what? Let's just let's just spend it on a castle. Why not? Here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go towards my restaurant, but I'm not gonna look. Here you go. <laughs> Is this gonna work? I think standing about here. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> what? <laughs> so many. Hey. Level up, stop ruining the moment. What are you doing? Uh, that's a lot of windows, man. <laughs> um, I, I feel like, um, I always feel like these skins from the outsides, well, then again, like, I've not, I've not put the pirate one on my restaurant just yet. Uh, I've seen some pictures of the pirate one. It actually looks really cool, but I feel like the skins on the outsides look really mad, but they look much better from the inside. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. Okay. You guys ready? Oh, look. You've got like a little uh, spiky thing. Oh, my goodness. Dude, what's with all the windows? Ew. All right. I'm not sure about this. I am not sure. All right. Let's try a different floor. Let's go to floor two. It's cost me $4 million. Are you kidding? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Let me try another floor. All right, okay, this looks a little bit better. So I feel like with the blue furniture, maybe we can get away with it a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like you would have to like theme your restaurant. But this is the thing, right? So this is what I was thinking. I was thinking if we've got these themes, so if we've got like a future theme and a pirate theme and a castle theme, are we going to get like custom themed furniture to match those so are we gonna get like neon style furniture things or like neon signs like bigger ones i guess not just the open one are we gonna get like pirate furniture and you know like um you know like wheels to put on the wall like pirate steering wheels and you know barrels and are we gonna get like uh castle things so are we gonna get you know stone <laughs> um i'm not convinced about I, I don't know man let's try another floor Mm. <laughs> this may have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like because because it has like windows on top of windows and then beams holding windows and then beams holding beams, which have windows on top, but you can't even really see through the windows. It kind of just looks like, um, it doesn't look like actual windows. It just looks like wallpaper, <laughs> which window themed wallpaper. I wonder if that exists. Have you ever seen like wallpaper in real life with pictures of windows on? Hmm. <laughs> it looks better when there's no furniture. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe if you've got like a specific style of restaurant, this would look really cool. But I'm not sure it's the one for me. 
Mm, I tell you what, let's go back. Let's go and change it back to uh, future. I mean, might be a case of if I live with it for a bit longer, maybe uh, maybe I would get used to it. But I, I just feel like even this just has, it, you can see out of it. You know what I mean? Like, you can actually see out of the windows. <laughs> I feel like if they just redesigned the castle skin, it would look way cooler. Don't you think? Like, I don't know. I just, I, I think I just like looking out the windows. <laughs> but anyway, again, like everyone's taste is different. But I think for my restaurant, I think I prefer this one. Maybe we'll get the, the pirate one next time. Uh, I just got to save up some more money. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, should we go on a little restaurant tour? Just in case you've not seen it. So I'll do this super quick. Uh, but this one is floor number one. So this is our tiki theme floor. And this is where we currently have all of our chefs uh, who are preparing it. And this is where the waiters come with the order stands. So I don't have like chefs and stuff on other floors. I just have them all on one floor. And then my waiters go back and forth up the floors. Uh, and then just bring them down from here. So I don't know if this is the most efficient way of doing it, but it basically stops all of my chefs just like wandering all over the place. They stay in one particular place and my waiters just go and do the rest. Um, so we've got a couple of gold stoves and stuff. I have done some upgrading. I think we might go and grab another couple in just a second if we've got some more cash. Uh, but moving on to floor number two, this one is our royal floor. So this is like our VIP dining area. We have this like... <laughs> outrageously expensive table of jazz and this is kind of where I've currently put like most of my jewel cabinets but I'm thinking about maybe buying a few more of those just put them around the restaurant this floor is really empty and I'm not too sure why people just don't seem to like this floor as much but I do I think it looks quite pretty uh, I like the wood with the red carpet because you know it's supposed to be like a special floor and then I've got my big gold statue which I really like has it given me a gold pack a pop <gasps> the gold pack a pop Kind of, can you guys see it? Kind of? <laughs> oh, it's a gold pack of pop. That's cute. So here is the floor number three. Um, so this one is kind of like, I guess like an opposite of the floor below it. But instead of having like really, really red, this one is really blue. So I really like the, uh, the, the gold with the blue and the black and the white. I feel like that's quite good. And the one thing that you'll probably notice is that I don't tend to like pack loads of stuff into each one of my floors. I know it's probably not as efficient, but... I kind of want it to look nice over being like super efficient, I guess. So that's kind of what I try and do. I try not to like ram everything in. Um, yeah, this is floor number three. Floor number four is my purple style Sakura floor. And wait a second. Oh yeah, because I changed like themes. My floor is no longer the default. Oh, okay, we need to fix that. All right, let's do that right now. So we want like a really nice, like white sort of ash colored floor. What can we do? What can we do? Um, oh no, yeah, because we changed themes, didn't we? So like just the regular default theme, the classic theme, which I don't even know if we can use anymore. It had like a really nice floor color, which worked with that pink. But now that we changed it, oh dear. Um, hmm. I tell you what, I'm going to try this light wood tile. We'll see what it looks like. I don't know, man. I was I was hoping something like even lighter, maybe like a gray or something, but well, we'll give it a go. We'll see what it looks like. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not sure I like it as much as how it was. Hmm. So I was kind of hoping for like a really ashy sort of like super light white color. That isn't in the game right now. So I thought, well, I just picked the lightest kind of wood. I think it's a little bit too pink, uh, like the actual colored floor. So, I don't know. I wonder, like, do you reckon just out of interest? Oh, delete a chair. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering, like, out of interest, what I was thinking was, I won't do this, like, now. I'll do this later. But um, I'm thinking about maybe just doing, like, um, white. I mean, I know it's a lot of white in here, but maybe just, like, the marble tiles might look better. I don't know, or maybe a combination of the two? No, see, the white is too white because the white just blends in with the chairs. So you just, like, lose the chairs. Um, hmm. I don't know. I've got to think about that one. It's not horrible, but... I actually really preferred, like, the way it was. <laughs> but unfor oh, I deleted a plant now. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll think about that one. So maybe we'll live with it a little bit, but I'm kind of thinking... Wait, what's this brushed wood? Wait, isn't this literally what I... Wait, what's... 
No, it's too dark. Oh, I thought it was gray. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try and live with it for a little bit, but I'm kind of thinking that if there is any other option that comes up sometime soon, we're probably going to change this whole floor. Is it essential? Absolutely not. <laughs> but we might as well do it if we if we have the chance. Um, so yeah, this is like my Sakura japanese style thing. Uh, like super basic, super minimalist. Uh, but I kind of like this floor. Looks very cool. Anyway, next one up is floor number five. And this, annoyingly, was our garden style floor. The update before they introduced the grass tile. <laughs> so this is green like carpet tile to make it look like grass. To be honest with you, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Like as a grass texture. We've got a little pond here. We've got a money tree, which sucks. And we also have our uh, basic wishing well here as well. Um, so I kind of like this one, kind of like an outdoor picnic-y style area. Lots of flowers, lots of color. I also think the future theme works really nicely with this because you can see out the windows, <laughs> which is not what we get with the castle theme, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think this one looks kind of nice and airy. And then going up to floor number six, this was the last floor that we designed, and this is our 1960s American diner. So once again, pretty straightforward, pretty basic, minimalistic. We've got just a bunch of the retro furniture. We've got a few green cactus just to add like a bit of color. Because, <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> and we've got our two green neon open signs. Oh yeah, and our jukebox. Because the jukebox literally fits perfectly with this style. Um, so yeah, that's like a little bit of a restaurant tour, as I'm sure I said at the beginning here. Floors number seven and floors number eight are just completely junk floors right now. But hopefully when we get a new update, uh, we'll have some new furniture and we can pick some new styles to design in. Ooh, one thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to put my gumball machine in. So uh, yeah, this basic gumball machine kind of sucks. I think you get like, like one dollar from it or something. It's really, really bad. Um, but I guess it would add up to like a profit eventually. But we did go and buy that premium gumball machine, didn't we? So, where is it? Uh, where is it? Wait, appliances? Oh, it's here. Golden tip jar. Oh, it's a tip jar. It's not a gumball machine. Oh, I'm getting too confused. Okay. Uh, I want people to get it literally as they leave. So, uh, I tell you what we'll do. Let's get rid of this gumball machine. Let's put the golden tip jar here. And then let's just put the gumball machine here instead. So are they going to give me some money? Tip me. Hey, tip. Tip. Come on. Someone tip me. Anyone. Are you kidding? Why is no one tipping? <laughs> I want to see how much we get from it. Hey, money. Okay, we got like $20, $5, something like that. Anyone else? Everyone's so mean. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess that's just kind of like a passive income. So I don't think it's going to be anything spectacular, but I guess we might as well have one. Why not, right? Um, all right, cool. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of like um, where we are up to right now with my restaurant. So I feel like, you know, with every single update that comes out, with especially new furniture items, I feel like it just gives us so much cool stuff to, to even, like, think about in terms of designing. The one thing that I do want to save up for is this shrine. I know it's 10 million uh, dollars, but I feel like we could save up for that one. We're at a stage now where we're making like a decent amount of money uh, each hour, so I think we'll probably work towards that. But as one final hurrah in this episode, uh, let's buy a brand new stove. Bang! Golden. Nice. So unfortunately, I can't afford a second one, um, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess we'll make do with this for now. So uh, what could we do here? Hang on, let me close the restaurant down. Get out of here, dude, so I can see what I'm doing. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. Let's put three, two luxury stoves here at the front. Let's move our high-quality stove to the back. And then let's get rid of one of these other ones, I guess. And let's stick one here. Boom. Nice. There we go. <laughs> so eventually I want to get all the gold stuff. Uh, but I don't think we're in too much of a rush for that, to be honest. Like, the, the stuff that isn't the gold stuff is still really good. And yeah, there we have it. So... Uh, just a pretty chill episode. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a tour. I also wanted to check out that castle theme. I'm definitely going to be sticking with the future theme. In my opinion, I'm not that keen on the castle theme. But I'm sure, like, if you have the right type of restaurant, I'm sure it would look really, really awesome. Uh, and, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Roblox Dumb Fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.